So for the last part, we solved all the um, first two layers of the cube. And now in this video, we are, we are going to solve the upper layer of the cube, solving all the yellow pieces and the colors associated with it. Now, you, you can find yourself with various different shapes of yellow. In this case, we have an L. So whenever we get an um, L shape yellow, the algorithm remains same. But you have to repeat the algorithm a couple few times to get what you desire. Now the first step is you have to make a yellow cross. So in this case, since you have an L yellow, you have to um, put the L yellow away from your side. That is like this. You have to put the front clockwise. Do a right algorithm. And front counterclockwise. So now what you are up with is a line. Now it is possible that when you solve the first two layers, you get a line already. In that case, do what I'm doing right now. So now when you get a line, make sure that you do the same algorithm again, that is front clockwise, right algorithm, and then front anti-clockwise. Now you have a yellow plus. Now, in some cases, it is possible that you just get a yellow dot after you solve the first two layers of the cube. Now, if you just get one single yellow piece, what you have to do is to do the same algorithm I said before. That is front clockwise, right algorithm, front anti-clockwise, and now what you get is an L. And since you got an L again, just do what I said before regarding when you get a yellow L. Put the L away from you, front clockwise, right algorithm, front anti-clockwise. Now you get a line, do the same algorithm again. And now you finally get a yellow plus. So basically if you get a yellow dot, you have to do this algorithm thrice. If you get an L, your L should be away from you and do the same algorithm twice. And if you get a line, do the same algorithm once and then you'll end up with a yellow plus. So now we have formed a yellow cross here. So now for the next part, what we are supposed to do is to form um, the aligned colors. Here. So if yellow and orange, then mix it with orange. So now you have yellow, orange and orange, but um, this um, is matched. But these two colors are not matched here. We have green and red and here we have red and green. So whenever you get to adjacent match matched colors, um, you have to perform this algorithm while um, keeping these two away from you. So these two faces should face away from you while th this one faces to your right and the other one faces away. Perform this algorithm. R U R dash U R U U and R. So after you perform this algorithm, that is right, up, right, anti-clockwise, up, right, up, up, right. You can align this color so that um, you can align the upper face so that all the colors match. So now you have yellow, red, red. You have yellow, green, green. You have yellow, orange, orange. And you have yellow, blue, blue. Now there is another case you can encounter while solving the yellow face. This is when um, the colors don't match or um, not two adjacent colors match, but the two opposite colors match like here. Now you have yellow, red, red. This doesn't match because it's blue and green. This matches orange, orange, and this side doesn't match either. So now you have these two colors matching. So in this case, what you have to do is put um, these two colors opposite to you. Like one is facing you, like the one face, one matching face is facing you. And the one matching phase is oppos opposing you. And do the same algorithm I said. Right, up, right anti-clockwise, up, right, up, up, and R. So now what you are now after doing this algorithm, you get two adjacent matching colors. Red, red, green, green. And the others two aren't matching. So now do what what, what I said before. Make one facing opposing you and make one of the piece facing right of you and do the same algorithm right up right anti-clockwise up right up 
up and right and align the colors now you have orange orange blue blue red red green green in very rare cases you can just get one of the color match in that case you can perform the same algorithm with that color facing you and you'll eventually get the faces the, the faces that have the same color and that are, that are adjacent to each other so all the three cases done you got the yellow you got the yellow cross and you got the matching colors for the next part what we will try to do is solve for the corner pieces now in this case um this corner piece is supposed to be here itself but it's twisted this yellow should be up this blue should be down and this um orange should be in my left and the other pieces are not matched this piece is not supposed to be here neither is this and neither is this but this piece is um is supposed to be here it has the same position now don't worry about the orientation of colors here now all you have to do is solve for the corner pieces the, never mind the orientation so what you're going to do is um face this um the matching piece face the matching piece on your right let it be on your right and follow this algorithm below up right up dash left dash up right dash up dash left by doing this you can have um you can match all the colors and if not you can do this algorithm once more so in this case it hasn't matched so you'll do the algorithm once more while um this edge piece is facing on your um right so up right up dash um, left arm counterclockwise, up, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and right. So now you have this 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 um corner piece is matching, this corner piece is matching, this corner piece is matching, and this corner piece is matching. So now we have all the matching corner pieces with one already solved one, and the three ones who who just have different um twisted colors. So now we have most of the cube solved. Now we just have to do one final step to solve our entire cube. Now in this case we have this side already solved and these three distorted sides. They are supposed to be here but they are twisted. So take any of the side on your right and keep performing this algorithm un until the, um, the um, yellow face comes upwards. Hmm? So now um, the algorithm is right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise right down right counterclockwise down counterclockwise right down now this face is solved so now this edge this corner piece is solved this corner piece is solved for now don't worry about the down part that is totally distorted but make sure that um you don't rotate the cube anywhere and um, now all you have to do is rotate the upper part until the unsorted or the twisted yellow piece comes to your um, right and do the same algorithm again until the, um, the left part appears on top um, the yellow part appears on top so right counterclockwise down counterclockwise right down right counterclockwise down counterclockwise right and down now don't get scared because the um, the whole cube um, is now completely disturbed it's not um, the thing is, um, the moment you'll solve the upper yellow part, this missing piece, the whole cube will be solved. So now, don't um, rotate your cube anywhere. Just rotate the upper part of the cube so that the yellow faces your right. And do the same algorithm again. Right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise, right, down. Right counterclockwise, down counterclockwise, right, and down. Now your cube is solved. Now all you have to do is twist the upper part somewhere so that um, your cube is completely solved and you have solved your cube. So that was it guys, with 7 different algorithms I was successful in solving my 3x2 Rubik's Cube. Um, if you want more videos about solving more cubes like the 5x5, 6x6, 7x7 and the others, just let me know in the comment section, I'll be sure to post more videos after this. And make sure to practice um, your Rubik's Cube some, um, every day so that you develop the muscle memory about all the algorithms. And I'm sure you'll learn it in less than 2-3 to three days. Thank you very much guys. My name is Abhi. This is Physics Leon. Signing off.